Hello, I'm going to give you a really quick walkthrough on how you can make an e-learning button or clickable icon for your Canvas homepage. So this is super helpful to do, especially as we're in the winter season, we have potential for those days. You can always delete this button later on, but it's nice if you have a button on your constant or consistent homepage in Canvas for your students that links to your e-learning lessons, because keep in mind, students have several days after an e-learning day to meet those learning objectives, so they need to be able to access this stuff pretty easily after the fact. So first thing we're going to do is I do have a template set of icons that you can access. I've shared this in a couple of different places. It's in our e-learning day training slides, but these are all of the buttons that you can make. Um, mainly there's elementary ones in here, but there's also some of you who use these in the secondary. And I'm just gonna go in and duplicate one of these slides. So I just did control D, duplicated it. And then I went through and I typed out e-learning. So you do need to make a file, make a copy of these slides. You have your own to edit. But once I do that, I like to go to Flat Icon. It is a free icon website where you can download all of these. That's where I got all the icons. So I just looked for e-learning. And whenever I get to an icon that I like, like this one, I'm gonna do this download button and I'm gonna do PNG. And then I have to attribute the author. So I always put that in my little notes on here, but it downloads it onto my device. So then all I have to do is drag and drop and add it to my slide. I can shrink it, enlarge it. I changed the background of this. It's just a square. So I just went and I changed the color of it. And once I have this kind of centered, then what I do is I come up here to where it says file and I'm going to download this slide as a picture. And then we're going to put that picture in our Canvas course. So I'll go file, download, and then I always do PNG and it does the current slide, doesn't do all of them. And then what I'm going to do is pull up my Canvas course. So I went to edit my homepage. So if you're in elementary Canvas view, you'll click manage subject. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll click pages and then view all pages and then go to the one that is your homepage. So if I, you know, go back to that view here for an example to show you what that looks like. If I do view all pages, you can find what pages set is your course homepage. If you scroll and scroll and scroll, it's going to have a little visual cue here that shows you. So if I click this page, I'm gonna do edit. And again, this is still the, the template. So there's a bunch of like placeholder text on here. Um, but if I scroll further down, I actually like to go into full screen mode to do this personally, but I'm gonna keep it like this for a second. I already have some examples, so I'm gonna delete those. And then if I want, I'm just gonna put this little icon here with my other course icons. So if I go put my cursor in this space in the rich content editor field, I'll click picture, upload image, and then I actually still have this downloaded or I can pull it from my downloads computer files. Always add an alt text for accessibility purposes. So link to e-learning lessons has an open computer with a video conference icon. And then I'll click submit. All right, so my icon is now here, but I need to make this a clickable link. So to do that, I need to hyperlink this picture. So this is the key piece. You need to already have a module made in your Canvas course for e-learning days. And I really suggest making a module because it organizes everything and it's easy for your students to find. If you just make it a page, it's trickier for you to find and it's not as intuitive for the students. So I would really recommend that you make an e-learning module and I have a separate video that shows you how to do that. So whenever I am on my page here, if I wanna make this clickable, I'm just going to either click this picture and you'll see this little blue or whatever colors on your screen. Sometimes people see a red or they see black, but I see blue. Um, I'm going to select that and then come up here to this toolbar where the link button is. And I'm going to do course link because I'm linking this to a module I've already built out in my Canvas course. So if I scroll further down and if I wanna to link to a module here, I'll click modules and then I'm going to click this e-learning day one. So if I click that, And then I close, all right. And I know this worked because now it's telling me link options and remove links. So now this is set up as a hyperlink, but I'll scroll further down and I'll click save. And then I always recommend that you test your links. So if I scroll further down the page, I can click e-learning and now it will take me to my e-learning module. All 
All right, so it took me here and I have all of my lesson resources for that day, all good to go. So if you have any questions, please let us know. And I recommend that you look over our e-learning day guide so that you can get an idea of what to do as well as our e-learning website if any students or families have some questions.